Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And he got all of this one. Great kick. So the Badgers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First and 10, ball on their own 42. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. Green nine, green nine. Red set. Tackle made around the 45 yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. Dog four. Red seven, red seven. Hands it to the back. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. to the running back, and they make the stop at the 47. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. Black five, black five, green 15. They'll work the left. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. From the 47 yard line. Second down. He has some room. He makes his way to about the 32. First down. From the 32-yard line, first down. Red two. Red They'll bring him down right around the 22-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. That brings up second and one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. That makes it second and 10. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Takes the ball right. Inside the 10. Makes it out to about the 7. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. This is the 12th play of this drive. Red two, go! They go back to the run, and he'll be stopped in the backfield. From the 13-yard line, third down. Down at 
the seven. Wisconsin could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. some time and down he goes at about the 49 he's gobbled up in the backfield lost a few yards on the play that'll bring up second and 12. it's second down 12 to go Ball on their own 47. There's a strike complete. Very good tackle in space. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The offense ready to go again, and their last drive ended with three points. Wisconsin has a three-point lead. And he's tackled at the 31. Call it a gain of 11 yards. That makes it from their own 31-yard line. First down. Dog four, green nine. Green nine. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, Wisconsin's got a three-point lead. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Red two, yellow three. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. Positive yardage. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second down and five. Ball on the 49 yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 36 yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. Wisconsin is up by three. Green nine, green nine, green 15. He 
he's tackled at the 37. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From the 37-yard line, second down. it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of six on the play. Third down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Scrambling around. And he hits him hard at the 26. That's a game of five on the play. First and ten. Ball on the 26. Tenth play of the drive. Black five. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Taken down right around the four yard line. That makes it first and goal. Oh, man. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Roger, Roger. Wisconsin holds a field goal lead. Stop behind the line. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. converts the extra point. So a 13 play, 81 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field and a lot of the yards came on the ground. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle at about the 45. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Quick throw, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. He's on the run, and he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. He's hit and taken down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Go 
gets it to the 24. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. He scrambled. Tackle made around the 18-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop around the 14-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And he's level at the 11-yard line. Shot, the defender tips it away. So we've played two quarters. The Badgers in front, 10 0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. So the Badgers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. On the counter, hit behind the line. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24-yard line. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Gets it. He's in space. The 50. They'll bring him down at the 39. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you are a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. him for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Set. Blue 19. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Number 44. Tackles in the backfield at the 42 yard line. That'll make, make it third, third and 13. 13.
circumstances, confusing them with the option and then getting the football into the hands of the running back. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And a huge contribution from the aerial attack. Boy, that's a nice big pass play on that play. The score now, 10-7. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Wisconsin is up a field goal. The halfback with a carry. They go to the left for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. Makes it out to about the 46. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. they get nice yardage on that run. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Green eye, green eye. To the right and tackle immediately. From the 48-yard line, second down. Decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. First he knew down. where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. This is the eighth play of this drive. Wisconsin has a three-point lead. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game seven. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. But you can really mess with an offensive game plan if you can take away their ability to run. This is the 10th play of this drive. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They hand it off again. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. What was that? This is the 12th play of this drive.
That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the three yard line. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. 10 7, Badgers. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Wisconsin is up by three. Touchdown, Badgers. He makes the PAT. It was a 14-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Nice kick, plenty of distance. They line up to kick this one away. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. The offense is in desperation mode, and the defense is thinking, guys, one more stop, and we can get out of here with a win. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Aaron and out long. Caught sideline, and he stays in. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Down. Cut. Cut. And up for the first down. And he's tackled at the six yard line. Gives it to the back. He's tackled at about the three-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Touchdown, Wildcats! to perfection for the score. It's a great job by the quarterback to read the defense. He made a nice pitch to the running back and let him go in for six. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. Northwestern kicked this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Wisconsin holds a field goal lead. Rumble! The defense has it. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. What in the heck was the quarterback thinking on that pitch? Why risk a turnover in this kind of situation? Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Down. Brought down around the 26-yard line. it in and gets the first. He was just looking for enough to move the chains. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. 
Tackle that producing pickup. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. Tackle made just outside the goal line. That's a gain of six on the ball. That makes it third and goal. Back to the line. Loss of three on the ball. That brings us fourth and goal. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Just under three to go in regulation. Kicks up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. And hard at the 18 yard line. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Under heavy pressure. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. It's now fourth and long. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 47. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 46. That is a loss of 10 yards on the play. Third down. What was that? Are you kidding me? Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. He wants it all going long. And he got it! Touchdown! Huge play!
The play that clock's at zero. They took too much time. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he converts the extra point with a three-play, 53-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. So our score, 24-17. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Wisconsin staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you get a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And he's leveled at the 34-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Take four, take four. Dog four. Blue four. Here go. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's a game three, two. That, that makes it first to ten. Three, nine. He scrambles. So the Badgers taking their first time out of the half. Two times, two times. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Kill, kill, kill. He's scrambling. <laughs> and they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Under a minute left in the game. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Easy, easy. Flair. Flair. They'll need something really big here out of their quarterback on fourth and long. He's going to try and scramble. Down in the open field. Easy, easy. First down. Red two. Easy, easy. Blue 20. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Fred, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, and especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. And this third and long is not a spot they wanted to be in. Here's the halfback on the screen. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Last five, last five! Throw four! X, seven! Quick throw. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. Wisconsin staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.